Extreme Makeover. This is Sharon Beshi. And this is her sister, Karen. They're twins. But Sharon has always thought that she is the ugly sister. And all she wants is to feel beautiful. After her extreme makeover tonight, she will. She just looks totally awesome. Like a model, like a, like a movie star. Like she just walked out of Hollywood. And just wait until you see this struggling single mother of three whose 11-year-old daughter contacted the show and asked us to give her mom an extreme makeover. I'm hoping to see just a completely changed girl with her head held high. Later on, we'll go back and see how John and Amy's lives have been changed forever by their extreme makeover. I've changed so much. I have more confidence in myself. I'm just happier. So hang on. Extreme Makeover starts right now. Tonight's first candidate makes her home in Jacksonville, Florida. Evelyn Estes was found in an unusual way. One of her daughters wrote us a letter without her mom's knowledge. I can't wait until the summer because I love the beach. But almost every time we go, I have always noticed that how, how uncomfortable my mom is with the way she looks. Sometimes she wears a shirt and some shorts. I just wish that she, there was some way I could do this for her, but I can't. I love my girls so much. They've been so good to me. She um, obviously knows how I feel about myself. I just want to be the mom that I know I can be, and I, I just want her to see me with more self-esteem and feel better about myself. Evelyn is a busy single mom, raising three young daughters. But it was her daughter's cry for help that made her take a good look at herself. I feel a bit inadequate. I mean, there's some things I know I can't change no matter how thin I get. I've gotten down quite small, and the tummy issue that I have from my three beautiful daughters, <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> it's horrible. Sometimes when we go to the beach or something, we'll call it a kangaroo patch belly, just to make it sound a little bit cuter. She wants to get a tan or lay out, but she won't, you know, because she's so worried about everyone else looking at her. But Evelyn's weight isn't the only thing that has bothered her. You know, my teeth, it's been a big issue from childhood. That's one of the big jabs that I got as a kid was gaffy because my teeth have the space in the middle. I would love it to be gone. I really do wish that you would pick my mom. She's had a really rough time, and it just will be something really good for her. It'll be something that'll make me happier, and it'll be something to make her happier. Extreme Makeover responded to Ashley's request and decided to let her mom read the letter first. Dear Ashley, thanks so much for the letter you wrote us on your mom's behalf. After meeting Evelyn, we agree that she's great, and you and your sisters are proof of that. So, Ashley, it's our pleasure to tell you that your wish has come true. We have selected your mom for an extreme makeover. Sincerely, your friends at Extreme Makeover. Oh, my it's yours. God. It's yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I you see anyone? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Tonight's second extreme makeover candidate lives in Livonia, Michigan. Sharon Beshi is a 27-year-old twin who has always lived in the shadow of her sister. My sister's, she's very pretty. I mean, she's very, uh, just a gorgeous twin sister, you know, and people compare me to her a lot, you know, because she's, very beautiful and being an identical twin, it's, you know, it's hard. You see her and she's gorgeous and pretty, wears all these cute little outfits and this and that. And then here's me, you know. Uh, when I, I had a, a boyfriend when I was 16, and I remember him telling me that um, I was the, his second pick, that my sister was his first pick. As twin sisters, Sharon and Karen have a special bond. Karen feels her sister's pain. People have said that I had a smaller nose and then she had a wider or a bigger nose. She's been very, very sensitive about that one. When people would kind of point that out, I'd be like in my head, oh, you know, I, I knew that that would, it would bother her. Sharon's insecurity about her appearance also affects her relationship with her husband. One time we were together and I asked her to take off her shirt and she wouldn't take off her shirt. And the funny thing was, the lights were off. Then I knew there was a problem. I knew it really bothered them. 
when we go to bed and stuff, I make sure, you know, I go to dress in the bathroom, someplace where he can't see me. And he always asks me, why does that bother you? I said, well, the stomach bothers me. I said, you know, the, the breasts being saggy and, you know, flat. And you know, having the umbilical hernia, I said, that bothered me because there's a lot of disfigurement. Things that have bothered me, I would like to see improved. Everybody has something that they want, and this is what she wants. If it makes her happy, then I'm right there with her. And I know that she really wanted something, you know? I'm sorry, but I just know how she really, really, truly wanted to do this. It's more for my own self-confidence, my own self-esteem. I want it to feel good about myself. Sharon's wish is about to come true. She's been selected to receive an extreme makeover. Oh, my God. Is that all right? <laughs> Karen, I got some news to tell you. I made the show. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so happy. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Tonight on Extreme Makeover, Sharon Beshi oh, has lived with the pain of knowing that her face and her body are not nearly as attractive as her twin sister, Karen. And Evelyn Estes, who was selected after we received a letter from her 11-year-old daughter. I have always noticed how uncomfortable my mom is with the way she looks. Both Sharon and Evelyn's lives are about to change forever as they say goodbye to their families and their old lives. Give me a really big kiss. Six weeks is a long time for me with three boys. It's going to be fun, but it's, it's going to definitely be challenging. And they head to Los Angeles, where a new beginning awaits them. I'm not going to blink. <laughs> no one missed anything. Despite the pain they've just gone through in plastic surgery, Sharon and Evelyn are desperate to get their teeth fixed. For that, they see cosmetic dentist Dr. Deborah Gray King. The teeth were the first thing I listed. It's something that's bothered me um, since I was a kid. The first thing I noticed about Evelyn was that she has a large gap between her front teeth, and we're going to be able to close the spaces, and she has some teeth that are a little rotated, and we're going to be able to straighten those with the porcelain. And we're going to do six veneers, so the six front teeth. To fashion Evelyn's custom porcelain veneers, Dr. King takes impressions and photos of her teeth. I'm a pretty scared of dentists. I've not had some real good experiences in my past with them, and she made me feel very comfortable and um, really great about the smile that I'm going to have when it's all over with. Veneers look like real teeth, but are made from porcelain. They're bonded into place on top of the teeth and can last up to 25 years. This one's very good. Okay, great. And then it's Sharon's turn with Dr. King. I'm really excited about my teeth because, you know, when you smile, it's the first thing you see. And I'm really excited to see how they're going to be all straight and perfectly aligned. When I first met Sharon, the first thing I noticed was that her teeth are yellow and she has a very narrow smile. We're going to build them out so that she has a broader smile. After leaving Dr. King, Sharon has time to relax and reflect on her family back home. My husband's been doing really good about sending me pictures and videos and things like that, and I've been talking to the kids. Jacob, he's the mama's boy where he tends to cling to her more. I think he's the one that's going to have the most emotional toll on him, and that is very hard on her, that that's bothering her. I really, really miss them a lot. It's really hard. Out of everything, I just I really miss them. A few days later, Sharon and Evelyn return for one more visit with Dr. King. We're getting ready to bond the restorations in place. They look great, and we're ready to rock and roll. These are composite curing lights, and it activates the adhesive. A new smile, I think, will help boost my self-esteem. To be able to greet people with a big smile on my face and not be worried about what they're thinking will be great. All right, you ready to see them? I'm so ready. Oh, gosh. We're excited for you. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Look at them. That oh, is incredible. Great. They feel nice and slick they and smooth. They feel so real. They look so good. Oh, my gosh. That gap is gone. Yay. It's phenomenal. <laughs> it's just I keep looking at this mold of the way my teeth used to look, and it's incredible. Wow. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you so much. Good morning, Sharon. How and then you? it's Sharon's turn to finish her smile. First, she'll get her bottom teeth whitened with Zoom. Yeah, they, they got, got so white. Quite a bit whiter. Then her upper teeth will get their porcelain veneers. Between me and my sister Karen, 
her teeth are already a lot straighter than mine, so I was quite floored that they can actually fix that. Finally, her bottom teeth are fitted with an Invisalign retainer, which will straighten them over the coming months. All right, Sharon, you ready to see your teeth and your new smile? Here you go. Drum roll, please. Yay! What do you think of the color of them? I love the color. It matches perfect. Thank Congratulations. You. So Sharon's Thank case you. turned out looking wonderful, even more dramatic than I even expected it to be. There are only two weeks left in Evelyn and Sharon's extreme makeover. But before they head home, they are about to become glamorous beyond their wildest dreams. Who are you? Oh, my God. This was Sharon Beshi seven weeks ago before her extreme makeover. I have an identical twin sister, and she's always been the real pretty one. And this was Evelyn Estes just seven weeks ago. The tummy issue that I have from my three beautiful daughters, <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> it's horrible. But that was then, and this is now, and a brand new Sharon and Evelyn are returning home. In Jacksonville, Florida, Evelyn's heading toward her big reveal party. I am so sad it's going to be over, and I really did not think that was going to be something that I was going to say at the end, because I miss my family so much. And now I'm like, ooh, pamper me just a little bit longer, <laughs> please. It's been seven weeks since I've seen everybody. It's definitely going to probably freak some people out. <laughs> Her friends and family anxiously await. After seven long weeks, Evelyn's about to re-enter her life, a whole new woman. Just uh, really excited to see how she looks. Even Ashley, Evelyn's 11-year-old daughter, who got it all started, is getting anxious. My calendar is like a mess, because I mark every day off at least five times in a row, because I'm so excited to see her. I'm very excited and I'm very nervous. I'm afraid she's not going to look like the Evelyn that I knew before. I am ecstatic and I'm hoping to see just a completely changed girl with her head held high and just a huge smile on her face looking fabulous. Finally, this is the moment that will make all the sacrifice worthwhile. The hardworking single mom is home. <laughs> I had this own vision in my head, and it was totally blew that away. Did you look different? Yeah, when you walked out, I'm like, oh my gosh, where'd my mama go? I know you did not. Yes, I did. <laughs> it was awesome. She completely looks like a different person, and uh, I think this has given her much more confidence and the ability to go out and do what she really wants to do. Evelyn had a tummy tuck, liposuction, breast implants, and a complete dental restoration that included whitening and porcelain veneers. She also had her hair styled and colored. Evelyn also lost 23 pounds and two dress sizes, going from size 14 to a size 10. There were some changes that was really hard for me. You know, changing the diet was difficult. I am not quite at my goal weight yet. I have about 15 more pounds that I would like to lose. I plan to have all that done and accomplished before my update. I really wanted my girls to come away with um, a higher self-esteem, motivation to get things done, and a greater, you know, outlook on life. And I think that I'll be better able to prepare them for that, being the person I am now. Very self-confident, motivated, and just ready to get things done. I'm so ready for the world now. Back in Livonia, Michigan, Sharon is on the way to her big reveal party. I'm nervous about seeing my husband and my children going home a little bit just due to the fact that I have changed and to see what their reaction is to it. When I saw myself for the final time with all the makeup, the hair, the clothing, everything, I was just amazed how great it all turned out. Sharon's husband, children, twin sister, 
and the rest of her family and friends are all awaiting her arrival. I don't know what to expect. I know she's gonna be beautiful. And the important thing is she's just as beautiful inside as she is out. I'm excited, nervous, just everything rolled into one. But she told me, just wait till you see me, wait till you see me. I'm gonna be totally different and changed. So I'm very, very excited. Seven long weeks have all come down to this moment. perfect body. It's just like my wedding day, but it was just all over again. It's just, I'm so much in love with her. My mouth just hit the ground. I could leave my kids for six weeks if I looked like her. She's a lot more confident in herself, and I think Jim's in for a little bit of a surprise. She just looks totally awesome, like a model, like a, like a movie star. Like she just walked out of Hollywood. Sharon had a nose job, a chin implant, breast augmentation. Her belly button reshaped and a full dental restoration, including porcelain veneers, whitening, and an Invisalign retainer. Extreme makeover is definitely first class. It gave her time to think and realize what is important in her life. Tonight kind of feels like a wedding night, but even more so. It's more of an excitement than your wedding night. It's like a fairy tale, I guess the best thing that's ever happened. We're looking for the next group of extreme makeover candidates. Do you and your husband need an extreme makeover? Or maybe you and your daughter? Or you and your sister? Or if you just have a great story, then we want to hear from you. To contact us, go to abc.com. Keyword, makeover.